Hello and welcome to Alice Blue's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can download your DMAT accounts' report from the Ant web trading platform. First, log into your Ant web application and go over to Apps, click on Bot, and you'll be redirected to this dashboard. From here, if you go over to the report, you can find PNL, Tax PNL, Downloads, and Trade Book. We'll look at them one by one. Let's start with PNL. A PNL statement is like a report card for your DMAT account. It shows what you really made or lost when you sold your shares, that is realized, and what's still on paper for shares you haven't sold yet, that is unrealized. It also adds up all your brokerage fees, taxes, and exchange charges and organizes it by financial year and even by each stock. So you can quickly see where you're making or losing money and what costs you're paying in each area. You can download this report in the form of an Excel sheet from here. A tax PNL is just your profit and loss statement organized specifically for filing taxes. It shows your realized profits and losses, that is what you actually made or lost when you sold shares. It separates them into short-term and long-term holding periods, so you know exactly how much taxable profit you owe or how much loss you can claim. You can download this report from here. In this downloads page, you can download PDFs for your trading account. Contract note is your official trade confirmation for each buy and sell that you've executed that day. A holding statement is an overview of all the shares and other assets you are currently holding in your DMAT account. A margin statement gives you the details of how much margin or loan you've used versus what's available plus any margin calls. Dividend report is a summary of all dividend payouts you've received on your holdings. You can choose the report, pick the date or date range and click download. You'll need your PAN as the PDF password to open it. Lastly, we have the Tradebook page. This page is basically your trading activity overview. You choose which market you're looking at like equities, pick a symbol if you want, and set the date range. Then, it will show you a calendar highlighting your busiest and quietest trading days, and a quick snapshot of how many different stocks you've traded, how many buy versus sell orders you placed, and the total money spent versus received. It's there to help you review your trading patterns and volumes over time at a glance. And with that, we reach the end of this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to subscribe to Alice Blue's YouTube channel to never miss out on any more updates like this. Thank you. Investments in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.